In this video, I'm going to show you how a chromo volato steel frame is actually made. It's the same process used for some of the most iconic steel frames back in the 80s. I'm Alex and we are at the Battaglin Bike Workshop in Marostica, Italy. Today, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process to achieve a true chromo velato finish on a steel frame. So, if you want to discover the secrets of this unique colored chrome effect. Keep watching. How is a chromo velato finish actually achieved? It's hard to find good information about the specific process to achieve a true chromo velato finish. Many people think that this translucent effect is obtained through a special kind of paint applied to the frame set. But a chromo velato is not a special kind of paint. Chromo velato is an Italian word made up of two other Italian words, chromo and velato. These two words translate into English as a chrome and veil. Literally, chromo velato means veiled chrome. That's because chromo velato consists of applying a transparent colored lacquer over a chrome plated steel frame. The lacquer creates a translucent color over the chrome, which makes for the mirror-like effect on the frame. But chrome plating the frame is not enough to obtain the reflective mirror-like effect. So, Let's break down the four-step process to achieve a true chromo velato finish. After the brazing process, here's how a raw frame looks like. The first step to a chromo velato finish is removing the residual flux. It's an essential operation that must be done properly before moving on to the following steps. The frame has now been cleaned. And after removing the residual flux, it has to be polished to a mirror finish. This next step will add the highly reflective effect on the frame. Here you can see the frame polished to a mirror finish. When every step of the process has been done well, a polished frame will already look good. As you can see, this frame is already bright and reflective. That means that we have done a good job. It's time to move on to chrome plating. Here's how the frame looks like after the chrome plating process. A thick layer of chrome enhances the bright mirror finish, making the reflection even deeper. At Battaglin, we rely on expert artisans who dip entirely the frames in chrome tanks several times. This process allows the chrome to cover the frame both internally and externally. The chrome layer increases the frame's corrosion resistance, preserving its beauty for many years. And now that we have our chrome plated frame, it's time for the final touch of the chrome velato process. Here's the final result a true chromo velato frame. This is Arena 9081, a limited edition frame set we have just launched. But you can choose literally any kind of color and create your own chromo velato frame. At Battaglin, we offer custom chromo velato colors on our lugged frames and on the Portofino. The owner can create a special combination of chrome and colors that is different from any other bike in history. I hope you enjoyed this video about how a chromo velato steel frame is actually made. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see from the bike building process. And if you want to discover the secret formula we use at the Battaglin for crafting custom steel frames, head over to officinabattaglin.com and sign up for our video series. It's free. I see you in the next video.